In this section, we will cover operators. So an operator refers to a way of manipulating or comparing items within an application. In the number section previously, you used the multiplication operator and asterisk. Normal operators will create a change in data and the result will be an outcome of, for example, two numbers being added together. A list of operators would be as follows. A plus symbol for addition, a minus symbol for subtraction, an asterisk, as we've already covered, for multiplication, a forward slash for division. The percentage sign is used as a modulus. In computing, the modulus operation returns the remainder or the signed remainder of a division after one number is divided by another. A double asterisk is an exponential function. This, in effect, will calculate the exponential value of two inputs. So, as a brief example, 3 to the power of 4 would equal 81. And finally, a floor division will give you the integer result of a division. So, as a brief example, 5 divided by 2 and using the floor operator would equal 2. This is useful when you want to just return a, an integer number from a division. So, after looking at operators, <clears throat> we have several comparison operators. Comparison operators are used to discern if items are the same or different in any way. Here are some classical examples of comparison op operators in action. You can type these in line by line and see the result in the command line interface of Python. So, for example, x equals 1. So we are assigning the value 1 to the variable x. y equals 2. And then finally, we're going to compare now x, the stored values of x and y. The result is false because x and y are different. If we were to do this again and reassign x and y to the same value and run the same comparison, x is x equal to y, we get the answer true. It is important to note that this operator doesn't have to be just used with numbers. You could run the same comparison but with strings. So as another example using x and y, x equals foo y equals bar and if we do the comparison is x equal to y it's not false and you can guess what happens if you compare x and y when they have the same value we get the value true returned so as an example of operators that are used we have equal to which will compare two variables not equal to which is asking the interpreter to check if two values are not equal. An example here would be currently x is set to foo and y is set to bar. So if we ask the interpreter to check if x is not equal to y, we should get the answer true because it is true that they are not the same. The next example is greater than. This operator will check if one variable is greater than another. Less than, which is the opposite of greater than, and we'll check if a variable is less than another variable. Greater or equal to. For this example, we'll demonstrate using x and y again. So we will use x as 2, y as 3, and we will now check if x is greater than or equal to y. As you can see, it comes back false. If we do the opposite, is y greater than or equal to x, we get true because y is 3 and x is 2. If we now make those values the same, so y equals 2, 
and do the same comparison, x is greater than or equal to y, we'll get the answer true. And then finally, less than or equal to, and this will check if a number is a lower or an equal value to another variable. So using a combination of the operators you've just seen so far, why not have a go at trying different combinations of values and operators? Exploring is the best way to learn. In this case, by putting these items into your command line interface, you will not be able to do any damage, except to your pride. But we make mistakes to learn, so that's what matters. We are confident in our actions.